It's like a box of chocolates. It is. Life is like a box of chocolates, Charlie Hurt. We're just Charlie. I outnumbered over time. Oh, gee, baby. So uh, we talked a lot about the speech. Yeah, yeah. Totally. And as we Ooh. were ending the TV version of us, um, it is chilly in here. I already wore a sweater. Yeah, you have now a sweater. Now you're putting on your long yeah, sweater. Yeah, it's a one. thing. Yeah, I could have worn um, But now the president, as we were wrapping up the TV version of us, was meeting with Senate Republican leadership in the Roosevelt Room, and they were going to give us a little video. I, I think it was only like eight seconds that they got video spray of. What do you think is being you know talked in about room? in this? Uh, yeah, I have the guest list. She gave. Okay, there are no Democrats in the room. Well, no. Uh, but the vice president, Mitch McConnell, Paul Ryan, John Cornyn, Senate Majority Whip, uh, Kevin McCarthy, House Majority Leader, Stephen Scalise, House Majority Whip, uh, Cory Gardner, um, the NRSC chairman, and Senator Perdue. That's who's in the room. I mean, well, just from the very open, that was a unifying speech. I mean, I just remember thinking it was like, okay, this is going to be a game changer right off the start. Yeah, and, and really, um, it, it was the first time that Trump has ever given the Republicans sort of their homework assignment. Uh, and so I imagine that that's a big topic of the conversation is, uh, you know, just, okay, so where do we go f from here with the Obamacare stuff? Because, I, I mean, I can't think of another speech where he has laid out in, in that much detail what he And he speaks and a lot. Yeah. And the guy talks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he does. I'm that's just true. That's just a fact. You guys are so mean. Why is that no, me? It's joking. It's true. All right, so this is just hitting the uh, the Associated Press Let's and see. Reuters writer, uh, wires. President Trump likely to sign executive order lifting federal coal leasing ban next week. Yes. Um, the executive order would also address potentially clean power, because we don't know what's in it. A plan for that. Other Obama-era environmental initiatives, that's according to a White House official, to Reuters. Um, so a lot of ground being covered. There a delay on the executive order on on immigration. What do we think about that? I think it's just political that they want the you know seventy percent of the American public having an optimistic view of this speech. They want to you know Ride take, that, take yeah. that narrative in the media totally. for a few days and use it. It's very politically smart. Something we didn't see in the campaign, Judge. Yes, the right, news cycles yes. were changing so quickly that I would hear you and others be critical of then candidate Donald Trump that let the wave ride when it's positive. Um, but not always. So you'd see those cycles just change. I was never critical of the president. Uh, <laughs> it's one of the things that people love about you. Yeah, you well, you no, said the way it the is. Thing. Here's the thing. I mean, this is so positive. Do not step on this yeah. story. Right. Do not let anything get in the way of this powerful moment when we recognize the military, we recognize the optimism, the fact that the Dow is up and going crazy and mm -hmm. infrastructure. I mean, come on, give us a minute. And also, it's, a, it's an ample opportunity for Democrats to come to the middle and meet him. If they can't mm -hmm. take this moment of bipartisanship and reach out for the good of the country and try and come to the table with President Trump, then they really are just the party of hypocrites. And I hate the idea that the era of Tip O'Neill and Ronald Reagan is long gone. Yeah. But I think there are some smart Democrats who realize that Donald Trump is still popular with their base. Certain senator from West Virginia in particular that I mm -hmm. think probably mm -hmm. sees the writing on the Wall, but I, if they don't take this moment, who was, who was, by the way, he was the one guy. He was, was clapping, clapping standing up. Night. Yes, he yes, was like yes, jumping yes. in front of the camera. <laughs> and like, Look, West Virginia, I'm clapping. I'm yeah. on my feet. Well, do you, we, we I got to like tell that. you, Facebook Live is hot. Ooh, tell right us now. how hot. And like every other message is, I love the judge. I love the judge on people, the show. People really love having you. hard for you, Jesse. Yeah. And people love um, you. So thank you for it. all those shout outs. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. What's wrong with them? <laughs> yeah. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of people like to let us know where they're coming in from. So North Carolina, I Illinois, Terrence Cartwright from North Carolina. I'm sorry, oh, I should give shout outs back. Um, but everybody loved the show and everybody's talking about the speech last Aww. night. I think it's just great speech. What are they saying about Judge Janine? We love her. She's the greatest Pretty much ever. every other message. And yeah. Charlie. They, people want more Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. 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 on the you sofa. Some really smart things, Charlie. You really did. I was like, hmm. That's people talk about your hair, too. Oh, yeah. no. Dreamy so hair. Cute. You told although, me before the show that you have a mullet. I, I, well, it is kind of a mullet right now. I, I think, I think so. it's I think it's time. I, I, it's not my best mullet. Here's I've had what a much I know. better mullet. When you walked into the green 
green room, <laughs> the, uh, the, the hairstylist was awfully excited. Yeah, well, I oh, fell yeah. asleep on they the train. They love your and hair. My, and, my, and I had a giant cowlick because uh, I because I started out in D.C. this morning. Are there whole <laughs> so on the train? train? You did. How would you get here? Train? <laughs> yes, I Plank. took the train. A lot of people yeah. also talking about the Democrats' reaction during the speech <laughs> yes, last night. Yes. yes. And Joanne uh, place they Perea me. Chavez is writing in. She says, anyone. one of the congressmen who thumbed down President Trump is my congresswoman, Judy Chu, whom I didn't vote for, shouldn't be thumbing down to anyone. She's the seventh. Okay, well, we won't talk about how much you don't like her, but she says, <laughs> be a leader first, then criticize others. Sad I'm from California, but love my state. So anyway. Uh, did you all see Joe Crowley, congressman from New York l last night? No. He was wearing a giant pin with, it looked like an uh. upside down question mark. And I was like, I don't, you don't even know what that protest is yeah. for. I, does, is Do you know what it's for? What no, it's for? I have no idea. I what, 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 the, were the women wearing that mark. one as well? Uh, I didn't see anybody. They all were wearing some I got to Google pin, that because I really the, don't know. But the know. question mark just I didn't see what Joe pop. Crowley was wearing. I, I mean, I'm just going to Google the picture because I want to see what the picture is. The white pantsuit thing is really, I mean, the white I, I, I oh, really, the, white, just the women, in white. women in white, yes. And what you were saying is so true. And then the other thing is, it's so offensive. And then the other thing, like Hillary Clinton is the best woman candidate I know. to run for president. No, she's not. I, I can think she's of a not thousand Okay, wait, you brought up a good point. They're dressed in white, so they say, for suffrage. You said they, if they voted for Hillary, yeah. they got to vote for a woman. Yeah. Just because she didn't win doesn't mean you didn't well, get to vote also, for her. And it seems so like then a, the question an, is, did they actually not vote for her? Historically, <laughs> women... <laughs> right? They disenfranchise themselves? But, right. really? Historically, women, the women's suffrage movement was ran by a lot of Republican women. So, like, go back in time and do a little history research. That is very number true. Number one. Number two... They need to be intellectually honest and clear with what they are representing. They are representing radical, pro-abortion, Cecil Richards, Planned Parenthood women of the country. They are not representing conservative women. They are not representing pro-life women. And the idea that all women are, are summed they up in they one lost. blanket. That's why they're so miserable. You don't have to keep telling them they don't represent us. They lost. But Get it, over but it. But I think there is an, there's an audacity and an arrogance with certain women. And, and by she, the way, did someone my write generation... Did a book called uh, The Audacity of Hope? <laughs> and someone yeah. did. Thank but there is. Even women of my generation, I think there's there's this, again, audacity is really the only word I can use to describe it, that you somehow represent all women of America. And I think it is not represented enough in the media how strong and intense pro-life conservative young women are and how strong of a voice we have within our communities. It's just not within the mainstream media. And the idea that you're going to sit here and say that you represent all women when you're trying to get Planned Parenthood extra funding by the government, it's such a load of you know what. It, it drives me Absolutely insane. We're on the internet. We might be able what's, to say with the. What's you know the record what? of you know say. what you've said? On I can't, I've had to train channel. myself not to swear. No, um, somebody oh, wrote in saying wanna, career politicians looked us. absolutely lost after the president's speech. It brings up a good point. That's a not lot true. Paul Ryan was smiling. That's unfair. No, the Paul Democrats. Ryan was smiling the entire time. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I think, that I think is, other side of the aisle. That, the that's Democrats. deeply unfair. And I'm sorry, but President Trump last night was reaching out within his own party as well. And I think to put a negative spin on that is the Democrats ran out because. They knew that he hit a home run, yeah. and they didn't, they didn't know what to say without looking like I'm an idiot. To, to know that Did you see you Elizabeth read? Warren's face a couple oh. times, the camera on her? I love it. I love Whoa. that. All right, look what Bob found. That's their handle. Well, well, you think that's what she was like? Shout out from say? Oakland, exactly. Florida. Okay. All right. Shout right back to you, babe. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we, we're getting some... Uh, What's the weather like in Oakland? Joe, <laughs> hey, Joe Manchin needs to change parties from Super Taco. No, that's unfair. He's just a Scoop Jackson Democrat, and we need more moderates on both sides of the aisle, and he shouldn't be blood let out by people like Elizabeth Warren just because he's supporting our president. I hate that. You know what we do need, though? We I never have an opinion about anything. We need a party of opposition. Yeah, exactly. Ma ma make uh, the opposition otherwise, party great yeah, again. You, you, you need yes. a viable opposition yeah. party because you need people to participate. But if you really want to do Things like Here's change Obamacare, where you These need people... at least eight Democratic votes, right? Yeah. But they're so, mad at him for supporting our president. That's it. They're like, you can't well, support President Trump. You can't try and reach across the but aisle. But they're also mad because they don't have anybody to do the rebuttal other than a former governor from Kentucky who's cute as pie, Mr. Don't Brashear. Get it. Yeah. But you're not in people office anymore. People wanted to do and it. They thought he was a Republican. My, my friends were texting me, who is that? Who is that man? I was like, I'm not really sure. And because... our friends Look, in Louisiana are saying who that. You know what? Pelosi's worse than she. <laughs> Or with a camera and getting in front of a camera. Why didn't she give it? Why? And there's a million of them. There's something going on. I'll
tell you what it is. <laughs> Democrats know it's over for them. There's a whole new crew coming in. There's something going on. Yeah, something going on. Yeah, There's something going on. I can feel it in my bones. All right, 10 seconds left. Um, I can't feel that hurt. pressure. So well, No, uh, I got it. Humpty Sizzle, alive and well on this couch. Yeah, yeah I don't know maybe. why John Scott was I calling me out oh. about my Humpty Sizzle. <laughs> Tommy's like, fair. it can't be sizzling, it's raining behind yeah. you. I'm like, maybe I wear that sizzle on the inside. <laughs> yeah, that sizzle comes he in the heart. Shot, <laughs> anyway, uh, Charlie Hurt, I'm glad you were here. Thank you, Charlie. Yeah, people are loving your dress. Yeah. They are? Yeah, I mean, it's that color is gorgeous. Uh, we love it. Oh, I'm selling right. them now. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm selling your dresses? They come, I'm selling for like nothing. Wow. The wow. time All right. they sell, it's like. I, if, if there's a place you can buy the judges' dresses, you know I'll get that info and bring it to you. But until then, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.